Okay, tell us what's going on, please. Here we are at the Giant Causeway with our audio guides ready to make a start. And we're just going to do a bit of walk right down to the stones and then do a cliff walk so we can get great, fabulous views. Great, thank you. Wait the way. This is the start of the walk. We're going right along the headland there. The views are absolutely brilliant already. That's it down there. It's pretty crowded already. And over there, there's brilliant shapes and the rocks. Looks amazing. It does. We're literally on the cliffs, right above the Giant's Causeway. What do you think? It's brilliant. It's pretty good, isn't it? It looks amazing. And the best is yet to come, as you say. Look at that right along there. Amazing. So we have walked right along the cliff top and we're going to eventually end up on the lower path. You can actually see the basalt columns all the way up there too. There's a pinnacle right up there. I wonder how long it'll take for that to fall over. It's an amazing view. Do you like it? It's pretty good, is it not? Really precarious. I'm not going to go any further out there. We're just about to descend the steps from the red route and see the causeway stones themselves and then maybe take a walk right along there which looks absolutely magnificent. We're about halfway down the steps and we're going to go and take the lower road to the causeway itself. Well, have you thought of it so far? It's been fantastic. And then we're going to come back and go right round that road to where the pinnacle was. Are we? Yeah. We'd be not bad going to the pinnacle first then coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's my day after all. Yes. <laughs> yes, Captain. Yeah, I think we'd be better going to the pinnacle first. Do you think? Yeah. We were right up there, directly above this pinnacle. And look at this. Absolutely brilliant. The Bassett columns over there are hundreds of feet high. This is us now at the causeway proper and these are the start of the hexagonal stones and we're going to go for a walk out to the tip and step on them. They really are brilliant. Absolutely perfect shape, look at that. That was the giant causeway and it was brilliant. Time to head back to the visitor centre and get something to eat and head towards the Carrick Road Bridge. And this is the visitor centre. It's really cool. That's the myth over here. We're now at Dunsferrick Castle and we're going to go and have a wee look. It's actually a ruin 
on a beautiful hill overlooking the sea. Wow, what an amazing setting. Impressed? Are you? Yes, are you? What's the name of the castle? Dansverig. <laughs> 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 you didn't think I knew? I knew you would know. This is Dunsveric Harbour. We're here at the Karakareed Rope Bridge. The scenery is just brilliant. I can just about see the bridge. Kind of just there. Harlan, please. We're here at the Carrick Reed Rope Bridge, but unfortunately we can't go over because the wind speed is too high. But we'll need to come back. But look at the cliffs around here. It's worth the walk just to see that. What did you make of this coastline so far? Really impressed. On a scale of 1 to 10? 12. Out there is Rathlin Island. And in the distance, which is a wee bit difficult to see, there's the Isle of Arran, the Isle of Jura, Jura and the Isle of Isla. I think that's I all I can tire over there. All in, all on the Scottish coastline. It's funny to think we stand right over there and watch this coastline many times. Well, you can just see it. I think you can just see it. was a Craig. It's just a shame you're missing it. Yeah. Right, sand wow. That, but that is actually more That's the Mullock Tire right there. Look at that, is that not spectacular? There's even a cave in the middle of the screen there. That's the bridge there. I'm not actually sure with my vertical that I'll handle going across it. These white cliffs, they're just so unusual. Okay, time to head back to the van. Maybe try again tomorrow, see if the weather's any better to get across. So there's overspill car park at the Karakareed Rope Bridge. It was the place where they filmed Game of Thrones, which I know I've never seen, but I've heard of it. Over on the wee island just there, there's some kind of construction. And away over there in the distance, I can actually see the rope bridge. We thought we were going back to the van after not getting onto the Carrick Road Bridge, but we took a diversion and went round to the amphitheatre area where they filmed Game of Thrones. And we've come right down and we're going to just take a walk along here. Looks like caves, don't know where it is, but we'll have a look. Oh. It's not strictly a cave, but there is a passageway right through, yeah. The birth of a sea stack. The birth of a sea stack. You're not going through it. That's a cave in there. And I think there's another one in there, but there seems to be a big boulder in its way. Well. <laughs>